some secluded rendezvous Hooray! that overlooks the avenue <laughs> with someone sharing a delight. Chat, this and that, and cocktails for two. In the hyper-competitive world of running a bar, keeping the customer satisfied is what it's all about. Easier said than done, because patrons can be fickle, but this may be the solution to keeping customers coming back. You're looking at performance bartending. It's the brainchild of a company called Bar Smart. They aim to combat indifference so that bars don't lose their customers. And the man who's performing there is beside me now, Scott Young. Hi there. How you doing? So this is your company. Uh, it is. I'm a partner with it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we were looking at, obviously, what is the flash and the dash and sure, the performance. of it. Uh, is that all? I, mean, I, I remember seeing that horrible film uh, with cocktail, that thing, if it had four legs and a tail, it would have been a dog. <laughs> but the uh, best part of it was the performance bartending. Is that where you got this idea? Um, it was the beginning of it. It certainly got it widespread. Um, it was very entertaining, and we, we really don't want to knock it because it, it got things started. Mm -hmm. um, but it was six years ago. You know, it has come a long way since then. The bottom line now, and what we're trying to, you know, to tell the country and, and North America and by teaching and traveling, is that you can do it and have all the fun, but you can also do it without spilling the alcohol. Because alcohol spillage is just unacceptable. And bottom line in all of this, obviously, is customer service. I mean, you, uh, it's very entertaining. We'll, we'll watch you do this blindfolding routine, which is really fun. But while uh, uh, the people at home are watching you uh, do the blindfold bartending, I also want you just to explain the importance of, of getting the message across about customer service. Absolutely. Well, I mean, performance bartending is great, and it, it's addicting. You know, once you start doing it, you can't stop. But bottom line is you got to have some fun with it. You know, it's not, about, it's not all there is to being a great bartender. you got to have fun with people. Bring people to your bar for many reasons, which means, you know, you have to be nice to people. Have fun in what you're doing or go home. Uh, you know, you gotta have fun, and if you're not having fun, you know, it's not worth doing it. And yeah, that's what people are after. Line of work if you're not exactly, that's what people are after. And you guys travel the country. We do. Uh, we're on a Canadian tour right now. Uh, we're just, uh, we're based in Vancouver. We're now, uh, we're in Ottawa. Now we're in Toronto next week. And uh, we're, we're trying to, uh, you know, to bring the fun in, in bartending and in the service industry back, um, getting people to do it for the right reasons, because it can be a lot of fun. And you'll be spending time, obviously, while you're here at City Slickers, explaining to the staff your concept and just trying to get that message through to them. Absolutely. Uh, we have a number of different programs. Right now, what we're doing is, is a two-day performance bartending seminar, uh, which splits between uh, 30 different moves of teaching. And also, the, you know, the bottom line is how to attract customers, alcohol awareness, um, you, know, uh, you know, what is a great server and how to, how to become that. Yeah, you know, it goes, sure, it goes much farther than, than having a smile on your face. As you say, the responsibility issue is so very important because of the liability the bar has when they have a customer coming in and and buys too much. Uh, absolutely, and that's just not something we can uh, we can ignore any longer. You know, it's uh, it's our responsibility, and we have to you know, to live up to that. Which means thinking about it. You know, what we want to do is we're already training high-end working bartenders. You know, to you know to be better. You know, to be great. Are, are your bartenders good or are they great? You know, is you know do they come in just to see your bartenders, uh, and and are they going to come back? You know, again, that's bottom line. You don't make your money uh, you know, as a, as an owner off of one drink. You get them to come in again and again and again. Uh, we got to make sure they do it properly, and that's what we want to do. But uh, Canada's got a great industry, and, and, and now it's just coming to the forefront in the media, which is nice to see. Yeah.